spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm being transported somewhere. Sir, hello, ma'am. Welcome to the Claggett residence. Please enjoy while I prepare some libations. Oh, and so, wow. Tani, I'm so gorgeous. excited to share this house with you. So, this was designed by Lillian Rice, and Lillian Rice was kind of the architect for the whole covenant like the Inn at Rancho Santa Fe, all the shops that you see, the row homes that you see. She designed about 60 homes wow. throughout her kind of era in Rancho Santa Fe. And I think she was so significant because she had such an influence on the architecture still today. And 100 years later, it's a I mean, century later. She's probably later. one of the most famous architects. So what's awesome is she really had some architectural details that she favored in the residences that she designed. Yeah, For example, so what are those details? She loved pagoda windows. What's interesting is we drove up in a pagoda 1970 right. Mercedes, yes. which was influenced or kind of like a little bit Asian influenced. And she did, and even though she was designing Mediterranean and Spanish homes, she always put a little bit of Asian influence into the homes. I love that. And so like over there, you'll see the windows and you'll see how they kind of swoop up and then fit into the architecture. I mean, this house is so unique in itself and I, these beams are incredible. That was really one of her signature items in the, in the way she designed architecture. And she would have mills here. Like there were people that would come here just to cut all this wood and to mill it for these homes. So wow. like it was a very significant thing that th this was happening in this kind of neck of the woods in the 1920s. And for Lillian Rice to be um, respected as an architect, being a woman in the 1920s, kind of in the outskirts of any major city, is really phenomenal. I mean, most of the architecture that was being, or notable architecture, was in New York City, San Francisco, Chicago, maybe even in Miami, but it wasn't in Rancho Santa Fe. Nobody even knew where Rancho Santa now Fe was the, at that time. Now it's one of the most sought after places to live in all of the world. Well, it is, and so <laughs> she really influenced architecture for the past century in this part of California. And so it's long lasting, and her homes are almost like collector items, like this house, is super sought after. Because we have that perfect Mediterranean climate right here in Rancho Santa Fe. We do. And like, just think about it even today, when you sit at the lawn at the Inn at Rancho Santa Fe that she designed, like, it's just so beautiful and grand. It and really it's, it's It's like held the test of time or lasted the test of time, which I think it's really special what she created. And I think you said it best when you said it feels like a collector's item. It's what? one of a kind, but just this labor of love. Well, when you think of it, we're in a house with beautiful um, artwork everywhere, beautiful sculptures and art, but this house itself is a piece of art. I mean, it can't be duplicated. No one could build this house today the way it is. So literally, it is a piece of art. And that's why it's on the historic tour every single year. Like people die to get to see this. I'm, I drove by this house for 25 years in a row. And then when I pulled up and realized this is the house I got to go wow. see and meet the owner, I was blown away. I was like in awe. Well, I can't wait to see the rest of the house. And there's and a lot to see. I feel incredibly blessed to even be on this tour with you. So let's go check out the Follow rest. Follow me. Wow, Sean, I love how these archways just open every room. They, they are everywhere. That's really significant also about Lillian Rice. She has extensive beams. One of the things you're going to notice is like the lighting in here. Like these were all just designed by Lillian. Like the fireplace tiles. Wow. Like she, so not just the house, but like the details within all it. All the details inside. Like she took care of everything. She was almost like a female version of Frank Lloyd Wright, where he was kind of similar to that. He would try to control everything in the complete it. environment. And she did the same, but she did it a little bit more organically. Like it fit into the topography. Like you, you can tell we're on this like 
perch two acre hillside right here, but you look at all these, there's balconies everywhere, looking over the canyons and the palm trees. And there's a guest house back there. There's a four car garage. You could have a tennis court down on the hillside. So it's, it's really an estate. Okay. Now this is my favorite room. So far so good, right? Yes. So I have another surprise for you because there's a really interesting room right around the corner. Okay. I'm all about the Follow surprises. Me. Oh my gosh, how cool. This literally is every girl's dream. It sure is. So, Looks like a humongous closet. So <laughs> this was the nursery once upon a time. And then her kids were all grown. So she turned it into her racetrack accessory room. So these are all the hats that she wears to the races. She owned racehorses, and so she loves to still go and goes all the time. So literally, this is like the fancy room for hats, purses, shoes, all that. This is amazing. I love what she did with the place. Yes. <laughs> and you know me, I love horses, I love the races. So this is so fitting. I mean, the whole Rancho Santa Fe lifestyle too. Well, you know what's really significant, another thing about Lillian Rice is um, she designed the home for Bing Crosby, his estate here. And Bing Crosby wow. was actually one of the founders or responsible for bringing the Del Mar racetrack mm -hmm. to San Diego. So there's such an integrated history with the architecture, with the celebrities, with like the whole lifestyle of the equestrian. Like everything is all right here. Okay, I'm ready to move. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm working up a thirst though with well, all this house. I think our friend downstairs has something for okay, us. Okay, let's Follow go me. do this. <laughs> What I love about this backyard is like we're on this beautiful canyon. All the houses are so far away. I get super private back here. I mean, this house is like 4,500 square feet. There's, you could have four bedrooms. It's segregated a little bit differently right now because there's library rooms and formal dining. There's um, maids quarters. There's like a playroom. There's nanny rooms. Like it's really quite amazing property. And a fresh lemon tree? From the property. <laughs> Doesn't anybody love a martini with a fresh yes. lemon? Let's cheers to you okay, and taking me around you. this beautiful home. Yep. And then I think we should walk up to the village. Let's go. <laughs> We're not leaving. We gotta drink these. Oh. <laughs> This is one of my absolute favorite places, truly. Yeah, Del Mar, who doesn't love Del Mar, right? From the beaches, to the racetrack, to the shopping. But today, we're at a restaurant. We get to eat at one of our favorite spots. Oh, yes. And it's a true testament because places established in LA, Orange County, are coming down here to San Diego to make their mark as well. Yeah, and one of those places is the Panini Kebab Grill, where today we're gonna see who makes the magic yes. behind the food, <laughs> and we get to eat a little bit too. Oh, I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> So Jesse, usually it's you introducing me to some new secret, but this place is definitely not a secret. It's rapidly become one of our absolute favorite lunch spots. Yeah, and that's not an understatement. This place is an amazing place to try, to eat, just to enjoy. And we're in for a treat today. We have the general manager, Dana Secor, with us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you, thanks for coming out and joining us today. Absolutely. We'll show you a little bit of our food and what we're all about. It is not just food, it is amazing. The whole thing is a treat all together. I mean, from sitting down to getting these amazing plates, it really is. It's more than just Mediterranean food. Yeah, it's a, it's a healthier uh, way of, of eating. You know, we, we're all scratch kitchens, so we, you know, we make everything in-house. Um, you know, we're taking the time to put that love in there and to make, to make these plates um, give that flavor, you know. It's healthy, I get it, but it's also delicious, right? And, and let's be honest, sometimes it's a little hard to match those two and, and get that combo, but this is just no ordinary kebab shop. No. Right? Yeah. I mean, I've had a lot of kebabs. I love kebabs. What is it about these that makes them so good? 
Yeah, well, we, um, like I said, we're a scratch kitchen, so they take the time um, to put, make the ingredients themselves every morning. They're, you know, we got several cooks back there that are solely designated for only prepping the food itself, um, you know, as opposed to the ones that are cooking on the line. So um, we order seven days a week, our, our, all of our produce and our meats, you know, uh, hormone-free, grass-fed beef, um, that, all that. So it's, it's just a healthier way. And I mean, it's really just the marinating process that, that for the chicken itself. It's, that's why it's so good. It comes through. It really oh, does. Absolutely. And it shows in everything you do too. It's not I mean, there's just so much love behind it. There's so much, like you said, preparation. And when you get this, it's not your average kebab, right? Right, no, and it comes with several choices. As you can see, we have the basmati rice there and your romaine avocado salad. Um, we have three different choices of rice and three different choices of salads. Um, we also have an, an additional option of the date salad as well. And um, you know, you never leave hungry. And you, don't, and, you don't, and you don't feel guilty about it is the best part. I come here and I take half home and then I already want to eat it on the way home. It's that good. And the portions, I mean, that's what you're talking Definitely. about. The size of what you get for the amount that you spend, I mean, that's, that's hard to find in today's world. But you guys really go overboard. You do not leave here hungry whatsoever. No. Yeah, it's, it's a great place to bring the family out. Uh, we also have family sized platters as well with different options of the chicken kebab skewers or you can do our beef kuba day as well. You can substitute out. We have several options. And that's family style. Right? That's called family style, correct. We also have that for breakfast as well. So not just uh, a lunch and dinner. Right. And I do love it that you mentioned when you do come here, it's always very family oriented, right? From the drinks that you serve at the bar to the ambiance here where there's the perfect indoor outdoor seating. We really just like to embrace that family, you know, having going home and having dinner and talking, having the family get together and sit down and eat dinner and, and have a conversation at the same time. You know, really enjoy the, the, the experience of it itself. So. And it's great. And you guys are in the perfect location for that yeah, as well, right? Yeah. We have the incredible movie theater next door, which is fabulous. Such a beautiful mall that we're in. Uh -huh. But you guys are also in other locations too, rapidly expanding. Yes, that's an exciting time for us right now. Um, we're currently opening up Bressy Ranch, which is located in Carlsbad. That'll be here in the middle of September, so shortly here in a few weeks. And then um, we'll hope to have several more uh, coming soon. One's in Mission Valley that we've already started building it with. And then hopefully a UTC uh, at the beginning of next year. Oh, that'd be fantastic. So, we'll have four locations in San Diego. Lots of locations, but you just don't need to go to those locations to try it. There's other options. Delivery, catering. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have four different third-party services that we, we use. Um, DoorDash, Chow Now, which is our own integrated system, uh, Postmates, and then Uber Eats. Um, and they... We deliver, they'll deliver it right to you. Um, we do lots of catering. Right, awesome. there's no excuses why you can't try this amazing, amazing food. Yeah, it's great for a, a party at the house or maybe a, a company picnic, um, some of those sorts of things. We do a lot of businesses um, come in and they order their food from us, so. The lengths that you guys have gone to to create these masterpieces, there's no hormones, everyone's so, no non-GMO, organic. You really did go through great lengths to be the healthier. Correct. Mediterranean. That, I mean, that's kind of our staple. You know, this, that is, we just really take the time to do that. Our vendors, we, like I said, we order six, seven days a week for all of our products, so we're able to keep it fresh as can be, and uh, of course, that healthier style. Oh, absolutely. Now, I was here the other day, <laughs> a <Shocker>. couple times, <laughs> yes, soccer, and we have the tiramisu sitting in front of us. But I had the bread pudding, okay. which was absolutely amazing. But you have bread pudding French toast, is yes, that right? that is right. It's our spin on like a cinnamon French toast. It's delicious. It's really good. Uh, I'm going to come with some blackberries and strawberries as well. It's, it's, it's quite the dish. Right. I like this. He says it with a smile. It means everything. Yeah, absolutely. How can you not, right? <laughs> no, I'm loving it. We're looking at the tiramisu, which is something that you're so proud of, too, because it is from scratch, which is not yeah. an easy feat to get the right tiramisu. That's correct. They're back there hand whipping the, the with the heavy cream, and it, it takes time. Lots of, lots of time, lots of love. Um, you know, kudos to the guys in the back. Um, you know, they do a great job of really following through with the recipes and, and to make it what it is, presentable and, and, and delicious. And I just love the pride that you do have for this because it really shows in the dishes that you do and you create. And I'm sitting here this whole time just admiring, but I think it would definitely be a crime if we didn't dive into this because I could eat this food every single day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Well, let's dive in. So cheers to us, right? My let's favorite part of the show. Let's do it. <laughs> This is 
good or great is an understatement. I could eat here every day, every single absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah, man, you could be part of our rewards club. You could, you know, you get read you the benefits. Club. Oh, yes. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So Don't I get me. points for every time I get here? Every time you come, a do dollar for dollar points. Every time you come and spend, you get rewards back. You get a free chicken kebab on your way home next time. Man, I need the, the, the back pay from all the times over <laughs> there. you go. <laughs> and the commission on bringing all the exactly. friends, right? It's just something that makes you want to come back again and again. And it's always the same incredible food. So thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. It's a pleasure it was showing a pleasure. you around. Yeah, but we're not done yet. Oh. <laughs>
One of the things that I love about Nikki is how she styles things. She takes the project right to the very end, and this is one of the most important parts, I feel like, is the, the finished product. It yeah. really, really is. It's not finished until it's been yeah. styled. Just knowing what to put on the shelves, even, that's a common challenge. Right, it is, and that's one of the things I enjoy, though. I see it in my head when we're starting, even with the footprint and the space plan of the space is bringing in that very last touch and it makes such a difference. I actually emphasize that with clients now that depending on what the budget is, we want to save 10 to 20% of the budget so that we can have that complete and finished look with the styling. Well, you nailed it. Thank you. I know another thing that you specialize in is creating sacred spaces. Yes, yes. So to me, sacred spaces is all about creating each and every room specific to the homeowner's needs, the vibe that they need in that space, the, the goals for that space. Like for the kitchen, it was togetherness and family time and really being able to cook. Uh, and it just becomes such a special part of the home. Well, each room is that way. Uh, we have a master bathroom I'd love to show you. This is the master bathroom. Oh, wow. This feels like a resort hotel. It's so light and bright with the skylight coming through this centered shower. Wow, this is stunning. So we're seeing the beautiful after and the transformation, but Jen, tell me what the biggest challenge was in this room. Well, it looks like it was easy. Right. <laughs> but when uh, we started demoing, and the space opened up really became the challenge of where do we move? I wanted everything was moved around. Um, the, I, the island ran this way with a sink on each side and it really seemed to separate the bathroom and I, I wanted it to be more open and so that's where Nikki came into play again. Yeah, Nikki, explain kind of what your vision was. So again, we totally opened up this space, adding this feature wall, shower right in the middle of the room with the amazing tub. Um, and for the vanities, we actually removed the window, which, you know, that seems counterproductive to wanting to create an open space, but it was necessary in order to balance the space. Yes. And then we have this skylight. I mean, this space is still very bright and open, even with the removal of the one window. You do feel that symmetry, you feel that balance, and I would certainly not mind taking a shower here, <laughs> this beautiful shower. So I know you're great with the symmetry and space, uh, spatial awareness, but another thing you specialize in is color. Yes, yes. You're a certified expert I in am. color. <laughs> I didn't know one could be a certified there expert. There is, I'm a certified true color expert. And what that means is I really understand uh, the art and the science of color because there are undertones to color. And I'm sure you've walked into a space and been like, oh, that doesn't quite work. Right. Um, it's because the undertones aren't complementing one another. Yes, the entrance into the bathroom didn't pop and it was a blank canvas and I felt that Nikki needed to decide how to dress it up. Yeah, so it was using an accent color after we selected all of the materials. We have this beautiful finish for the cabinetry and you know these amazing tiles and the different items that Jen saw in her head and we picked out together and we had to pull all those things together first and then do wall colors and paint colors and accent walls. Ladies, thank you so much for giving us this home tour today. You do beautiful work, and as you already know, you have a lovely home. Thank so you. thank you for having us. Thank you.